despite the breathtaking view, it's not always rainbows and sunshine. I want to talk about what drives me crazy about my Yangon apartment. For those who don't know, I'm a foreigner living in Myanmar. And living in Yangon has been an incredible experience so far. But there is definitely some challenges that comes with it. I'm going to talk about everything without going too much into political. And although this building is supposed to be finished, it's not. Sometimes during the day we still hear some works being done, even working on this top floor. Just imagine that. Yeah. That's probably what I hate the most in this apartment. Especially when I'm trying to record a video and it's this noise all the time. Good job, it's just during the day. This one is another place that used to be empty and never made much sense for me. But now it looks a little bit better with these chairs and these small flowers around here. Although it looks much better now, one thing that's still missing here is the water. As you can see, it's still empty. It's not exactly a quiet place, especially when you have the generator on. The view here is quite good, not bad, but wait until we go upstairs. We also have a quite busy road right beside here, which makes it even noisier. This could easily be my favorite place here. It's just not because of the noise. I came here a couple of times and to be honest, I just don't come more often because first, it's noisy and second, no windows here. So when it's windy outside, it's going to be extremely windy here and it might not be too safe as well. You're not going to fall down there by accident, but if you really want to jump, there is little effort you need to do. If we step back and look from afar, it's quite a good place. It might have something that's not really good, but it also have many things that is good as well. And by the way, Myanmar surprised me in a couple of things since I arrived. To know what it is, watch this one next. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.